Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Xenoblade Chronicle. We are on the verge of continuing on with our assault on Galahad, but in between the episodes i just uh, been a little bit busy collecting materials, collectibles and all that kind of stuff. And I found enough hose plank to repair the bridge, so I want to put that in motion before continuing on and... I want to fill out the Collectopedia, because we have two areas we have now completed, leaving only one left. And that is this area we are in right now. Because there are two items that have eluded me a lot through the entire game, all the time, all the hours I've spent here. But I will keep on grinding for it. Ooh, cut all the materials. Wow, you collected all so quick. I fix bridge right now, wait for me. It all thanks to you. This is such a happy day. Oh, no pun, really grateful to you. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. <laughs> I expected no less from you. I just knew you could do it. It wasn't just me, everybody helped. Now life better for you and no pun back in village. I fix bridge, but you one who get materials. Yeah, and it's basically a shortcut so we don't need to use the airplanes together anymore. We can just come here ourselves. And of course, as always, the extra experience helps a lot too. And you never have to. We can keep on getting this feeling more and more the we uh, continue on playing the game, doing quests and who knows, maybe we're uh, rescuing some old friends in the process. Alright, Collectopedia. So, as you can see this one is not filled but Velik Mountain is now done, just like Sword Valley. So let's uh, fully full in these so we can see what kind of rewards we're gonna get for it. Because I can really use that to enhance our party a little bit more, making the fighting even better than it already is. And of course all the extra materials, if we don't need it for Colony 6, we'll just use it to uh, enhance the affinity between uh, the characters in our party. Auto heal up three. Yeah, and I think the auto heal up is that you get like 10 or 70 HP on a set interval or something. Which is nice, but the EP, the HP restorative from that is so, so low. And of course, because we are, uh, this is a McConnell's area, the gears were plentiful. But what's gonna get here? Piece of equipment? The Cosmic Nibbler. Oh, that has to be better, come on. All right, let's do this one as well. Let's uh, move a little bit, okay, see if we can move a little bit faster through this. You know what? I have an idea. Let's just uh, leave the last one till the end so we can get all the rewards in one go. plus three. Uh, heavy gear, which is really nice. We already have that one from a quest we did. Uh, or a heal, nice. We are getting more and more rare uh, gems in order to put in our sockets, which I really like. Because the rarer it is, the better the effect usually is. Sarasus Cutlass, yes. Alright, nice, two areas completed. So let's change our equipment to see if those two are better 
and of course not. I have no idea where we got the striker. It was such a while ago, and it's still the better one at that. Cosmic Nimper. Ooh, this one is a little bit better. I'm usually just checking for the gray one, so we can put it in there, making it a lot easier. Uh, yeah, this will have HP steel. Why not? The little guy can always use a little bit of extra healing. All right. So that's enough for the side stuff that I wanted to complete. So let's get straight back into our Assault and Sword Valley. Uh, let's see. I think here in this between fourth and third gate is where we left last time off. And I walked this little bit just to uh, collect materials and kill some more enemies. And when I got to the control base, I got the same uh, quest as we did last time. Basically saying, kill all enemies to take over the control base. And of course I haven't done that, because it was an, uh, another surprise quest, which I think is a new thing for since we got into this area. So let's get in there and do all these surprise quests, because I do want to take the place over. And let's see if this group can uh, handle that. Because I did put Melia in the group to work on the relationship of the ladies. Because it is uh, one of our earliest side quests that we still need to complete. The question is more for uh, is, uh, can our party do enough damage or take enough damage to fight these fights? Because that's the main reason why I usually have Rain or Dunbay in here, because they are like the damage punches of our team. So if they can focus on that, the rest of our team can just uh, go all uh, DPS or healing. Oh crap! I didn't even notice there was an entire different group behind us. Yeah, let's uh, ooh! That is... A little bit low. Yeah, that does explain the music suddenly uh, ramping up. Come on, hold out. Oh god, I'm gonna die, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, can you move it, Melia? Please, thank you. I'm trying to resurrect our party members to get out of my way, please. Oh god, we don't have the charge. Can you stop this? I'm trying to fight you guys if you keep doing this. Oh god, that's, that's even a boss of level 50. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we, we really need to get rid of the little one just to... Ah, oh, crap. And another one's down. Jesus. Oh, can you stop it, please? Yeah, we're not gonna win this, are we? No, it's done. It's done! Where did this one come from? Was this the boss of the base? It probably was, wasn't it? Let's 
still the same uh, units, isn't it? Oh wait, it, it's the uh, warning thing, the droid. It's calling all the others over when I was fighting this thing, wasn't it? That little shit. I'm pretty sure we can handle the boss if the rest isn't here. No, 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 fuck off, no, no, oh, son of a, yeah, run. Yeah, I'm gonna run for it, because I can't do this with the boss and all the little ones with it, because we're gonna get the same result as before. So, I'm gonna run, cancel the fight. And change our team a little bit so we have someone that's a little bit more adept to surviving. Alright, you do. So everybody's combo is damage wise more than fine, but we need someone that can take a little bit more of a hit. <laughs> and as far as I've been playing the game so far, there is no one with a really heal other heal than Sharla, so we, we cannot change her out. I think a group like this would be a lot better. But now that I know that's a big group incoming, I want to see if I can focus on getting the uh, warning thing before it alerts. No, we, we, we can't get past it without that thing uh, attacking us. So we are going to get attacked by the big group. There's nothing we can do about it. Because it sees us before it's here. And we can't catch up because it runs faster than us. And I'm doing the same thing again. We need to up everyone's enchantments to do more damage against Macron. But then the same uh, type of attack. Just get rid... Do we have it? Do we have it? Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 you do not run. You're mine. So it also means that we can be fully healed before we attack the other three. Already giving us a much better start at downing the entire group. No, this is pushing me a lot, uh, Dumban. Uh, stop with the compliments if they're not earned. good yeah it's it's the boss of this entire thing so we have to feed defeat it so let's uh, do that shall we yeah focus our effort one target get rid of the smaller ones gain enchantments Tom ben, what, what are you doing, man? Come on. I, I'm, I'm having you here to enhance the combat, so don't dilly dilly so much, will ya? No, oh, it's, it's starting already. <laughs> Small one. I was already forgotten that there's another one there too. Our enchantments are still up there. Good. Oh, 
Come on, can you topple him for us? Air Grove away from me. Let's go off Dumban, is it? Yes, of course. Yeah, I'm more tempted not to use my entire bar just for the sake of having the ability to resurrect people. Because if enemies are the same level, especially the bosses, they are a force to be reckoned with. Like you can see. Come on. Oh, wait. No. Come on, rush me, rush me. Yes. Like I said, they hit pretty damn hard. Yeah, he is a boss for a reason. Come on. Brilliant. And a thousand experience. Love it. And a fancy big old chest. Ooh, a flesh shield Elvedar. Will that finally be better than what he have? Because Ryan has been carrying that almost the entirety of the game. Not even close. Yes, like I said, certain drops that we get from enemies are so much more powerful that it's almost incomprehensible. It's probably gate three. And then showing us, of course, how to get there. But there is more to this building that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> Their supply of meaty carrots. Yes, we need that. It's ours. Yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look around. See if we haven't missed any usable collectibles. Because we have found everything. There's no need for us to be here for that. Like I said before, every collectible we have beyond the ones we need to complete the Collectopedia, we can use to increase the affinity with other players. So, always really useful. Alright. But uh, let's uh, also make our way towards where we need to be. I think that's here. But we opened up gate three, right? Huh. Then why would we want to go to gate three to open that up if this is where we need to be? I think this is basically for the main story and all the other locations we're doing to gain control over the entire sword. That the entire sword is ours. Is it going to be something like that? I want to go to the next quest part just to see what happens. Lots of meaty carriage today. Mm, no, I think it would be faster to walk there. So there's where we want to be. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we can find in here. Ooh, items. Yes, I will definitely accept that. Well, if you generally think you owe me, pay me back by defeating all these enemies as quickly as you can.
there. Oh, just uh, for extra information, every point we get for increasing our R's, I'm putting, at least for Shulk, into the main attack of the Monado. Seeing as we can upgrade it now to max, I want to see if I can get there. And you can, as you can see, the damage we're doing with that attack is tremendous. So it's definitely going to be very useful. Especially when we're playing uh, Shulk. Ooh, there's a collectible all the way at the end. I, I think the game is thinking, let's see if we can tempt him to grab it. Are we going to be attacked by uh, enemies along the way, just like uh, laying in uh, wait for us? Because the, the collectible is doing its job, it's tempting me to go there. Even though I know there's nothing there that I haven't gotten already, I still want it. <laughs> Because the further we go, the more money we can get from the collectibles and the more advantageous they are if we are using them to increase our affinity. Because the better the item is, the more they want it. <gasps> Look at that. The inner sanctum of hey, the base. Can we get in through there? It looks as though it's unguarded. It should make for a decent entry point. Now's our chance, Dunban. Yes. But don't lower your guard. The Mechon may just be hiding. Port access pathway. Alright. Yeah, we'll continue on this part. And I think at the beginning of the next episode, I probably will check out the gate number three. Because I think that's just extra. So for now, I want to see where this will lead us. Look how big this place is. It's insane. I've been waiting for you. Talking <laughs> about insane. <laughs> how predictable. I knew you were going to come. How could you? How could you do this to your own kind? That ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just having the time of my life here. Ain't that the point? I even get to take out that annoying Monado brat. Oi, Beardy! You're talking pretty tough there! Don't be so sure you can take us all on by yourself! Come on! <laughs> I ain't that stupid! What's that sound? What the hell? You scumbag! <laughs> well then, Madonna boy! Think you can do it? Can you kill them all? <sighs> I wonder who's inside. Who could it be? Your dad? Your mom? Maybe that special someone. <sighs> uh -huh. Looks like we have our first contestant. Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. It's just like with Zanza. Shala, look out! Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. Yeah, we gotta use the future against them. Everyone, watch out for the green claws. And the other one's spears. There's something different about them. You catch on quick, boy. You're right. These weapons are special. They were made especially to decompose you, Homs. And no, wait. Any being from Bionis. How can that be? I don't know about all this technical stuff. But it's something to do with that ether. Ether is like the Bionis blood. The fortress sucks its blood out for us. Then we use it to make this green liquid. You monsters! <laughs> Using the blood to Pretty defeat the Bionis itself. That's wicked. This world suits me just fine, Dunban. Munka, you're gonna pay. I'm tired of your yapping, Mr. Hero! I'm gonna squish you like a slug! 
Right here, where we shared such lovely memories. Do we actually need to do this? <laughs> this is gonna be hard. I am extremely tempted to switch uh, Dumb Band for Rain. I think first attempt, I'm gonna... You know what? Not first attempt, we're gonna do it. We're gonna beat the crap out of them. Yeah, we're going after the minions first. Yes, focus on the same target. Keep your spirits up for or else we'll never be able to do this. Alright, that's one. Like I said, minions first. Mumkar or whatever his name is. You're not important enough to be given priority over everything else. The only thing I have to look out for is that the enchantment that we reinitiated once it's gone, because it's only 90 seconds, it's not permanent. No, not Mumkar. Great, the rest is just waiting? Okay, so it, the game is not making it too hard. Okay, now I want the rest to attack us. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure that once we get to a certain percentage, the rest will probably come into the fight. Alright, let's add the... Encouragement. And healing. To the side. Uh, he's nothing. Come on. If you don't send us everything, including the kitchen sink, how can we take you seriously, man? Come on. Uh, I think uh, the other people will join us. Oh uh, no, 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 no! Don't daze us. It's not time for that, come on, wake up. This day is way too long. Yes. Yeah, we can even encourage him without him actually need Oh, just got healed right before I saw it. It's really weird that we haven't gotten a warning for a killer attack from him. Like, he's supposed to be the, one of the strongest, right? Oh, no, this is gonna take one out, isn't it? Well, we have enough bars to revive people, so we should be fine. Come on, stop the days. Thank you. Hell yeah, it's time. Yeah, you can get a custom dead way, you're dead before you can execute that. Among 
way, Shulk! It's Munkar! He's not a Makon! Have you forgotten everything he's done? Where is your killer instinct? Now is the time! I hate him, Dunban! For what he did to Fiora and the Emperor! So of course I want to get my revenge! Shulk! <laughs> Face Mekon are not like the others. They're people. Like us. Are you really willing to kill another Homs? Yes. Sometimes needs must. <sighs> Even if it's Fiora. What then? When we set out, I wanted to destroy all Mekon. That was my aim. But now... I know that there are people inside. I have to know why. What's the reason for all of this? Why do Bionis and Mechonis have to keep on fighting? I have to find out why. So, that is your fight. Yeah. To be the hero. I think he will respect uh, Shulk's wishes. I will never forgive what he's done. And yet, your words, they ring true. I feel the weight. We have to help Fiora now. We'll worry about the rest later. Right. Did you hear that, Munkar? We haven't got time to be playing around with you. You always had to have the last word! Just die! Oh, will he save him? No, will he... Just He tried. He definitely tried. But he would have never listened. And that's the difference between uncontrolled rage and being a proper hero. Because a hero doesn't kill to kill, he only kills when he has to. Uh, I like Shulk, I really do. He's a good character. Just the sheer way he changes his opinions on everything. Because he could not save his majesty. That was within the margin of fate. It was not Schultz's fault. Hmm. So you side with the boy? Did you find anything out? I did. It is most fascinating, this sphere. The green fluid alters and destroys the structure of the ether, which is the building block of life on Bionis. It appears to have been created from ether energy drawn from the blood of the Bionis. Could that explain the ether flowing through Sword Valley? I do not think it is the only reason, but it is too early to draw conclusions. Is there a countermeasure? Creating antibodies is a simple matter. We will be ready. That is good news. Why did you have to include him? You know how he disgusts me. We must respect our elders. Dixon has known him far longer than us. So is Dixon part of that group? Why do they start seeming like more and more like 
like some kind of Illuminati within the entire society. At least he's out of the way. Now we just need to get inside. They're in there. Fiora and the Golden Mechon. Yeah, it's still going to be quite enduring to get there. Silver Mekon. Fiora. She's definitely inside the fortress. All right. At least we know what to expect. So, Fiora is inside. I can't let that vision come true. I have to save her. Yeah, I think for that we need a little bit more information surrounding that uh, vision. Why is she led to the edge? Why is she being attacked? Is she being attacked by us or by the other Macon? Because both can still ring true. Because we could hear a doubt in her mind, but I don't think that doubt is from Fiora. I think it's from the person that's controlling her body at the moment. Which I know sounds really confusing, but that's how it looks like. Collectibles up here. Now let's follow uh, the line and see where it gets us. I wonder if we're gonna see Munkar uh, again at some point. Because yes, we did see him drop, but like with most movies and series, unless you actually see him die, it doesn't necessarily mean they are dead. So I'm still keeping a little bit of hope alive for that. Uh, I want to grab the collectible I saw here. And I want to check the list to see if this is another area again. Or if it's the same part of the valley. Yeah, it's still the same part of the sword valley. Good. Because that means that we do not need to grab the collectibles. It's just a really nice thing if we do. Alright, let's uh, attack them. And uh, the more, the higher the levels of the enemies get, I think the more important the enchantment becomes. So maybe for the next few upgrades I might need to focus on enhancing the enchantments. And after this fight, I'm gonna change our group's uh, resident tank, which is Dunban at the moment, into Rain. I think he needs to come back. And the reason I rolled him out was mainly because of the sheer fact that our friendship was maxed out. But I think I need to let go of that for the moment. I think uh, if we can raise affinities with items. Uh, raising them through combat is going to be less and less important to do that. A little bit more. And I think once we get out of Sword Valley and we're not fighting the Mechonis anymore, we can uh, get Shulk out and uh, turn Donban in again as a front leader. Because with everyone I've fought so far, I think I've fought with everyone but Ricky, Shulk and Donban are the most in line with uh, how I like to fight, so those are the two I will mainly pick, I guess. Alright, uh, Rain. <laughs> Live on screen once again. All right. Mm 
What's this? Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, the corridor we saw. We need to get all the way to the other side, isn't it? There are a few more big ones out here. Nothing we can't handle. Yeah, and the thing with Rain in the party is, is that uh, if anyone can uh, take aggro, it's definitely him. He has the base moves uh, to do that. So it will make fight a lot easier. And his defenses uh, capabilities are almost twice as high as anybody else's. The only weak point of rain is, is that we haven't found a better weapon in such a long time. It doesn't make him weak, but it does make it feel like, where is it? <laughs> where is his strength? Because the attack power that Dunban has is so much higher than Rain's. Okay, let's focus here that I don't accidentally try to shoot the people in the background. Three of them now? Really? Come on. Right, that's one. Yeah, the offensive mechons are not too bad. It's just that they are quick. They are quick attackers. Damage-wise is not too bad, we can handle it. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna need to fight a lot of these in order to get to the center. That's okay. And like I said before, after we've done the entire fortress, we'll go back to Colony 6 and see if we can upgrade some uh, new stuff. Because I think with all the items we've been getting uh, on Velik Mountain uh, and here at Sword Valley, we'll definitely be able to upgrade another piece or two. I do notice that now that we are in this area and we've just had that talk about the ether weapons that the enemy also carries them, the normal enemies. I don't think I've saw it before. Not even a word of encouragement needed. Let's keep on fighting. Final group before the end. Destruction unit, okay. to enhance the topple function of rain because the downtime is a little bit too low so if we raise it a little bit so it lasts like a second longer it becomes much more viable for him because the thing is if I don't respond directly when it's activated 
the enemy can get out of it. Oh, girl, that's a wrong person. Lots of materials to work with between the episodes. Alright, is there anything down here? No enemies, no collectibles, nothing to worry about. Alright, so we're moving one layer further into the inner sanctum. One layer closer <laughs> to where Fiora is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna find if we're gonna find her, we're gonna find the golden Macon as well. That's gonna be a hard one to fight, okay, I think, because it was bigger than the rest. He was golden, and he was willing to sacrifice all the face Macon, saying they were of no use anymore to him. And that says a lot about how strong he must be. Here's our way in. There's no turning back. We can't let them find us. Let's move. Right. The ether influx conduit. Uh, just like Dumban planned. Right, let's move a little bit further ahead, or shall we leave it here for today? No, I think I'm gonna leave it here. It is a really nice uh, glowy area. We can uh, wait it out until the next episode. So next time we're gonna move even further into the fortress, bit by bit, getting closer to the golden Macon and Fiora, and see if we can change her fate, if we can make her survive. But that's gonna be next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to be back next time as we continue on into the fortress. Bye bye.